Hello and welcome back to LDF Designs. In today's video I'm going to be finishing one of these pieces. I was at a show recently and had the honor to um, get two orders from two different ladies. Um, interestingly they both had a similar color palette in mind and so I got home and started working on these pieces. This is about a three and a half, I believe, inches wide by 12 inches long panel. And I prepped it with some chalk paint and some tinted uh, wall joint compound. I also added some um, torn pages and put those on to the surface while I still had the joint compound wet. I also applied a little bit of, I believe, alcohol inks in a spray bottle to the surface of the papers and a little bit of the dried chalk paint just to give it a little bit of tone. Um, and then I let everything dry completely. So at this stage, I am just working on the initial layers of encaustic and um, just trying to create a little texture with the encaustic using this sponge. I've definitely been more inclined to try different techniques and different um, tools to create some texture on the surface um, that is not just your typical uh, brush applied. So trying the sponges, um, as you may recall from some of my earlier videos, I have those circle um, roller sponges for paint that I've been dipping into the encaustic. Um, just trying to do some things a little bit differently to get some different shapes. At this point, I'm going to start applying some of this uh, Payne's Gray oil paint to the surface uh, to try to, to enhance some of the texture that I'm creating. It really helps when you're applying surface color to your encaustic to use some kind of a medium to help spread out the tint, uh, whether that tint is an oil paint or a pastel. Um, I use a vegetable oil, which I've stated multiple times in my previous videos. Um, and then you really want to make sure you're working it up and down, but also crossways against whatever texture that you're creating to make sure that it's getting into all of the areas. Once you've wiped off the excess, then you want to give that a light fuse. I wanted to try to create a more neutral color to add to it, so I am using some burnt sienna and the Payne's Gray, and when you mix those two colors together, which are kind of like an orange and a blue, um, it will come to a more neutral color. 
So that's what I'm doing here is adding that neutral color onto the panel. Now at this point I did go ahead and pull out that one of those rollers and I'm dipping that into the encaustic on my heated palette next to my workstation and just creating these circle uh, points of interest that I will go back and add some different colors to um, to enhance their texture. I also like to use the pan pastels to add color to my pieces so it's just another way um, that you can color the encaustic. One of my most favorite things about encaustic is if you work in an area or add something and you just decide that you don't like it, um, all you have to do is take your scraper and scrape some of that back off of there. It's kind of like making it, you know, as an eraser. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. I decided once I put those in there that they were a little heavier than what I was thinking. So I went ahead and pulled some of that back off, but did continue to work with those areas on the piece. I just felt like I wanted some texture in that area that I had put the circles on and then pulled them back off. Um, I added some lines there, but it still just wasn't quite the texture I was looking for. So I went ahead and pulled out some of my uh, material that I have there. It's a cotton material. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip that into the encaustic and get it soaked. And then I will fuse that onto the surface of the encaustic piece. Once the material is fused onto the piece, you can begin to add, slowly add some layers of encaustic to the top of it and um, it basically will adhere to the ridges and create, you know, create a, a thicker ridge. So it builds up the depth of the material that you've put on there. So at this point, um, I went ahead and started changing things up. I added some white encaustic, some clear encaustic. Uh, this is an oil pastel that I'm adding a little bit of a turquoise color to. Um, one of the colors that the client 
had asked for in the piece and I wanted to use it more of an accent than a main color so I was waiting towards the end to add that on. At this point I knew I was getting it close to being finished so I was cleaning up some of the areas um, that needed to be touched up and just adding some finishing touches. I did add a little bit of gold to the piece and was showing it to the customer to make sure that it was what she wanted and much to my delight she ordered a second piece to go with it. So I will have those pieces showing over on my Instagram page. So if you want to hop over there to see how these turned out, um, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching today and I will be back soon with another piece to show you.